What's up, guys? Welcome back to Call of the Wild, the Angler. This is um, a tutorial, kind of, not really, recommendations video, whatever. We're going to get into it. Basically, this video that I'm going to put together for you today is how to set you up for success in Call of the Wild, the Angler. This is going to be a long video because we're going to go to all four maps and I'm going to explain certain things on each map because they're all different and they all have different things. So, buckle up, grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to take some notes because, yeah, there's a lot to talk about here. So when you first come into the game as a new player or as a returning player, you are going to end up at Golden Ridge Reserve, which is great. So we'll start here. We'll come daytime. It really doesn't matter. Not for this video anyways. So we come up here. We're at Golden Ridge Reserve. Obviously, I'm not where you're going to start. You're going to start at this lake down here. Legendary fish is active. Right, let's move away because I don't want to listen to Taylor. She will talk at length whether you want her to or not. And I got some challenges here I didn't grab from the board. Um, she will talk at length whether you want her to or not, and it's annoying. So, <laughs> anyways, setting you up for success, you are going to start over here. I think. No. I went the wrong way. You're going to start over there. But anyways, uh, so you're going to go through the little tutorial mission. Alright, you're going to catch your two fish. You're going to come over here to town where they're going to have you talk to Taylor at Taylor's Tackle. She does all the tackle shop. She's going to... I think she's going to have you do a couple things here and there. I don't think you have to do them. Um, and you, you got the warden there as well. I highly recommend you talk to the warden as soon as you can. And then from there, you're going to stop fishing. All right. Once you do the the main tutorial where you catch two fish, stop fishing. <laughs> I know, sounds counterproductive to not fish in a fishing game. I get it. But like I said, I am here to set you up for success. Learn from my mistakes. Learn from the mistakes of others. I've got almost a thousand hours in the game. I re I literally just restarted my game not that long ago to do this video in particular. So you're going to stop what you're doing and you are going to do all of the warden's favors and all of his tasks and it's a long drawn out thing. So the tutorial mission, um, don't worry about the uh, academy stuff not yet so you're gonna do introdu introducing bait feeding bottom feeding bottom fishing tutorial and the tutorial these are the three missions you're gonna do and really you don't even have to do these two just this one and you should be set up to just go do a whole bunch of other stuff let's see here dragon tension catch another fish catch a fish with a minnow so it looks like you're gonna catch three fish yeah okay so you're gonna catch three fish for the tutorial that's when you're gonna stop and from there you're gonna come over here to the favors tab you're gonna do the golden tour dinosaur bones petrified trees bigfoot tracks weather stations all this stuff alright this is a very long drawn out thing to do but if you do those things, if you do all of that, you will have the entire map unlocked. And what I mean by unlocked is you will have found everything. You'll found all the tutorials. You'll get all the trailheads. You'll find all the bodies of water. You'll get all the vistas. Everything you need for 100% map completion, essentially. All right. You do all this, all that's left are the fishing challenges themselves. Once you do all the fishing challenges and catch um, all three legendary fish, and I don't even think you have to catch all the legendary fish. I think once you do all the fishing challenges, you will be at 
reputation for the map. So all of this stuff, plus the fishing challenges, 100% reputation, and you can buy whatever you want. Now that is important because if you do come over to the tackle store, each map has a souvenir shop, all right? And in these souvenir shops, there's things, God, here she goes, she's talking. You've got things in the souvenir shop that are specific to that map, okay? So you have to have these reputation points. So as you can see, the top is a thousand. Um, you also need the three types of currency in the game. So like with this one here, we've got coins. These are your actual money. So like right here, I got 1200. Oops. So you're gonna need those. You're gonna need 10 gold coins and one diamond coin. And to catch, or to get the gold coins, you have to catch gold ranked or higher fish. I think you also get them for rewards uh, for doing certain missions now. The diamond coins, you get those from catching the uh, diamond fish. And I think you get some for rewards as well. And then for some like this one, you got the purple one, that is legendary. So you have to catch legendary fish in order to buy these things with the purple tokens on them. So that's kind of a quick rundown of that stuff. So the Golden Tour, the Warden's Favors, all that good stuff. If you go into my YouTube profile, my videos, you can go to my playlist, whatever. Type in Golden Ridge Reserve All Warden and a video will pop up. It's about two hours long but it will literally show you where every single collectible is on the map, how to get to every single vista point, all the water bodies, everything. It will show you everything that you need to get you to, to the point where all you have to do is fish, okay? So you're gonna do that. At that point in time, once you unlock the map, go ahead and do the Tackle Academy stuff. So, not there, here, no. <laughs> oh my God, it's under tutorial. You're gonna do all the Taylor's Tackle Academy stuff, okay? All the way through Expert. And you do all of that, and you should end up with at least two gold-ranked fish. You'll probably get more. I'll give you a hint, a number seven spinner at the dock right here where this guy's at right here. You'll go there to fish during your tutorial session, but a number five spinner right there, just cast straight out. You're going to catch pike. You're probably gonna catch a muskie or two, but you're going to catch largemouth bass and you're probably gonna catch a couple gold ones, which is always good. And if we actually go to the handbook, these are all the fish that I caught just doing Taylor's Tackle Academy stuff. So as you can see, I caught largemouth bass. I actually caught two gold ones of those. I got a gold bluegill. I got a gold sauger. I think this one's a gimme. And then I caught a gold green sunfish as well, just from doing the tutorials, all right? Yep, I'm sure, shut up. Shut up, Taylor. Shut up. So, that's one thing that I highly recommend that you do on this map is do it in that order. Do the tutorial mission outside of the academy. Talk to the warden. Do all the warden's favors. Do the golden tour. Unlock the entire map. Come back. Do Taylor's uh, tackle academy. And you're good. At that point in time, you are ready to start fishing here on Golden Ridge Reserve. But you're not going to. You're going to go to the next map, which is Norway. So that's where we're gonna head to next. So Norway is another beast of a uh, map. 
I think Golden Ridge Reserve and Norway are probably the two hardest maps to navigate. And I say that loosely. All right. So Norway, they're going to start you off way up over here at Lake Sever. Lake Sever. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go through, you're going to unlock the entire map. If you want to press pause and make note, take a screenshot, whatever, of all these locations, by all means, do so. I don't have a, uh, a video on all of this stuff because there isn't anything like the Golden Tour for this. And these maps are huge, guys. I'm warning you now, they are absolutely huge. Golden Ridge Reserve, you're looking at anywhere between 8 to 12 hours to complete that one. Norway, you're looking around 8 hours to complete this one. Spain, you're looking at around 6 to 8. And Africa, you're looking at about 4 to 6. Potentially. How quickly you do it is entirely up to you. And how well how pre prepared you are to do it so like when I come to these maps I pretty much mark all of these locations on my map before I start exploring so there's that right so for here as you can see I ain't caught shit but I do have all the carvings I've got all the notes I've got all the lost and found items and I got all of the uh, figurines I forgot to show you that on GRR, but it's basically the same thing. You got lost and found, you got statues, you got notes, and you have uh, something else. I forgot what it is. Um, but there are collectibles. So those are all the collectibles. Um, these guys right here. You definitely want to get all the collectibles here. Um, as long as well as all the cash items so uh, let's see here that's main mission right so these guys you want to do all of these so you got the scavenger hunts you got the cash challenges and it's for all three of the main areas on this map so you've got this area is a main area up here is a main area and then you've got all of this as a main area so you got the three outposts here that's where you're gonna find those missions and again if you go to my YouTube channel and you look at the uh, angler updated playlist I literally show you how to do all of that how to get all the collectibles how to get uh, all the cache stuff done how to get all the scavenger hunts done I might be lying about the collectibles, but if I remember, I will link a wonderful guide to all the collectibles in the description below, just to make double sure, and that link also has a guide to everything else that I have videos on. Uh, for Golden Ridge Reserve, when you do the fishing challenges, same playlist, I have all of the fishing challenges, I have guides on that as well. So, there's that. I, I, I'm really setting you up for success here. Once you get all this stuff done, get all the collectibles, do all the cash, do all the uh, scavenger hunts, you're going to stop at Norway, and you're going to go to Spain. So let's do that now. So we go to Aguacoleras. Now this one's a lot easier to navigate. Uh, I forgot I was right there by the uh, frickin' shopkeepers. They like to talk as well. So we'll come over here. Right, so I am in the main area and it's the same principle. You're gonna get all of the map unlocked. The reason why you wanna do this is these are fast travel locations. So when you start doing your fishing missions, when you're going for the legendaries, all that good stuff, or if you've got friends who are playing, you can easily fast travel to your friends as well. So having the fast travel locations, super, super recommended. You definitely want to get them. 
if you don't, you're probably going to regret it at some point or another, and I don't need some of these other markers on here. So, same thing. Like I said before, you're going to grab all this stuff. You're going to unlock the entire map. And this one for Spain, I do have uh, videos on all the collectible locations. So for here, we've got figures. We've only got, what, eight? Ten. We've got notes, paintings, and food items. I've got videos on all of that on my channel. By all means, check them out. Um, and I didn't show it on Norway. I, I guess we can show it here. We can show the uh, souvenir shop right quick. So as you can see, a lot of different stuff here in this souvenir shop. The equipment, I think, is the same, so you don't have to worry about that. And my god, those guys talk so... Why do all the shopkeepers just... Yeah, anyways. So you want to do that, alright? And don't worry, I'm going to talk about the why soon enough, alright? Once you get all the collectibles, once you do all that stuff... You're also going to be doing the. Um, you're going to be doing the missions, the main missions here. So you're going to do the King's Path as well, all the way up to this point. You don't want to do this one just yet. You can hold off on that. Um, sorry, that was Taste of Tomatito. You can do these three on Taste of Tomatito mission. Don't worry about that one just yet. The King's Path, you can always track these to find where you need to go to get those. Um, so let's talk about this map and Africa right quick. And I'm going to give you a little tip for some of the fishing missions on this. You're not going to be doing the fishing missions, all right? So here we have location challenges, all right? You've got three of each fish species on the map. So you got bronze, silver, and gold, I believe. Yeah, I think number one is bronze. Yeah, bronze, silver, and gold of each fish species on this map. And you also have um, gear challenges. <clears throat> I despise gear challenges. I hate them. I hate them with the, with the passion of a thousand burning suns. If, this, if the devs were to stop putting gear challenges in every single map moving forward, it would make my day. I hate these. But I'm here to tell you how to get, not necessarily how to get them done, but how to kind of streamline your missions when, when you start doing these missions, when you start doing the fishing missions on Spain. Um, and the same thing applies for Africa. So, let's say you're coming over here, you're going to do, uh, let's do, like you're doing number one. Really, you can do number two. So, if you set up for a gold or higher, uh, Crucian Carp is the example on this one. You're going to set up your rod, your reel, and your line for 1.1 pound or less. Your tackle is 1.1 pound or, if you're on the metric system, half a kg. Set it up for the gold, okay? And then what I want you to do, and trust me on this because I made this mistake when I first started doing these missions and I wish I didn't make that mistake, what you do is once you have once you're set up for whatever fish you're going for, set up for the gold, so the number two challenge, and then you're going to go to the location challenges. So for that one, we had Crucian Carp, right? So set up for you can do any of them. Honestly, you can do all three of them. Uh, if you're set up for gold, you're good. All right, you're straight up good. So that's one, where's Crucian number two? I just want to show you guys right quick how this actually, the best way of doing it. 
okay, we got three. So once you're set up for your gear challenge, your gold gear challenge, go to Crucian Carp location number three. Or conversely, you can start at number one and work your way up to three, which might not be a bad idea now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, start off with number one and move up. So what you're going to do is you're already set up for a gold with the correct tackle for the gear challenge. So say you do Crucian Carp number two, um, wherever the hell that was, I've already lost it. Crucian Carp challenge number one, let's say you do that, you've got it activated. We go to our map. Uh, Lord knows where this is at. <laughs> it's over here. So you fast travel over here, and this is why you want to have your fast travel locations done. You fast travel over here, you see that's where we're going for our Crucian Carp, and this is for bronze. Bronze rank or higher Crucian Carp. But you're setting your gear up for gold. And here's the reason. You can catch a gold on the bronze gear. So say you're out here, you're fishing for your Crucian Carp, you get hooked on a Crucian Carp. You bring it in. It's a gold. Well, that meets the requirements for this mission. But it also meets the requirements for the gear challenge. So you'll knock out the gear challenge and a location challenge all in one shot. That makes sense, guys? Worst comes to worst, you won't get that gold until you do the gold location challenge. So just keep it set up for the gold and the gold will work for the silver. Actually, you know what? I'm not sure about that. Hold on. Let me check my notes right quick. It'll work for some of them. So really what you want to do is set up for silver. Yeah, because like the Andalusian barbell the silver gear, gear challenge is two pound line. The gold gear challenge is three pound line. So for your location challenges, set up for silver. And then for your, um, for your gold location challenge, set up for the gold gear mission. And I probably just butchered that for you guys. You guys probably, I'm probably lost you. I don't know. So here, catch a bronze rank or higher. So for this one and for the next Crucian Carp one uh, location challenge, bronze and silver, set up for silver, set up for the silver uh, gear mission. Which, that's not it. <laughs> Again, it's the number one. Set up for this one here. So for bronze and silver location missions, set up for the silver gear challenge for the gold location mission set up for the gold gear challenge you do that you'll knock out one gear challenge and one uh, location challenge with one fish it'll make doing this so so much quicker and when you go to the location areas like this here for the Crucian Carp, the Crucian Carp already spawn here. So you don't have to go, oh crap, where do I find Crucian Carp? You already know because the map tells you where to go if you highlight the location challenge. So if you activate the location challenge but set up for the gear challenge, you already know where the fish are spawning. Just fish where, where that species of fish is spawning, you're, you're eventually going to get it. Alright, um, that was, like I said, my first playthrough of this map, that's where I screwed up. I messed that up so bad, I literally did all the location challenges, and then I went to do the gear missions, and it just took a very, very long time. Was not worth it. I, I'm not going to lie, it, the time it took me to do it was not worth it. I regret every single moment. I'm not going to lie. I, re I, I regret every single moment of that. And if you were watching on stream, you know how much I hated doing it.
<laughs> I absolutely despised it. So learn from my mistake when you get to that point here in Spain. Again, set up for your gear challenges, but do the location challenges, and you'll get them both at the same time. Right, so, again, that's once you get all four maps unlocked. Where you go from there, that's up to you, but once you get all four maps unlocked, that's when you can start worrying about that. So, you get all the collectibles, you get your map unlocked on Spain, then you're gonna go to Africa, so let's head over to Africa. Right, so we come over to Africa. One of the first things I recommend is that you'll start here, talk to the shopkeeper, okay? Get in your car and drive all the way up to this lookout tower. It is just so far out of the way, you might as well get it done first. <laughs> um, this one would be a good one to get second. Just follow the road until you get it. So this map is the same way. You've got gear challenges and you got location challenges. Same thing as Spain. Set up for your gear challenge, but do the location challenge. Knock them out uh, two at a time. Two challenges at a time with one fish. For this one, uh, all you have are these sketches. These are the only collectibles you have. And there's what, 10? Yeah, 10 collectibles. But on this map, there are also caches, or caches, however you want to pronounce it. I don't have a video on those because I don't know if I've even found all of them. I know I've found most of them, <laughs> but I don't know if I've found all of them. Uh, there's no way of knowing. The game doesn't tell you, hey, you found all the caches. Yay, congrats. It doesn't tell you that. But this map in particular, there is a cache over here by this boat dock that gives you a free reel. That reel is the mint. So, I mean, they give you a lot of stuff, guys. They really, really true give you, give you a lot of stuff. And the reason why I'm having you go through getting all the collectibles, getting all the caches, doing the non-fishing missions first is because if you do that, you will end up probably close to level 25, if not level 25, depending on how quickly you get through Taylor's Tackle um, through the Academy. And by the way, always, always, always when you are fishing, even during the academy stuff, have your challenges on. Have your dailies and weeklies turned on. Generally, pick anything that has the any category because you don't know what you're going to get. Just pick all of them that have any as the species. Um, avoid diamonds. <laughs> avoid the diamond ones, but for the species, any. Uh, that increases your money and it increases your experience. So why is that so important? Why is having a higher level important? You want to have a higher level because the higher level you are, the better the gear you unlock, the heavier the tackle you unlock. The heavier the tackle you unlock, the bigger the fish you can catch, including the legendaries. All right, I told you I'm setting you guys up for success in this video. Everything that I told you to do in this video was for that purpose. Get as many levels as you possibly can without wetting your line pretty much at all, except for in Golden Ridge Reserve. You'll get close to level 25, which will unlock a lot of gear. Now, I did spend some money, but I'm going to tell you guys now, don't go on a spending spree. At least not right away. Spend money on what you need. So, if we come here, we go to buy, we go to equipment. So at level 25 on spinning gear, we've unlocked all the way up to this harpoonin. Once I hit level 25, I'll have the advocate unlocked. 
So, I mean, I'm almost close to having every single spinning rod unlocked. And I haven't done any fishing. Bait casting, a little bit of a different story. Uh, but we've got two of them unlocked. Feeder rods, we've got all but one unlocked. Match rods, we've got all but one unlocked. Reels, all the way up to here for spinning, for bait casting, up to here. Uh, line, all the way up to 19 pound line, which ain't bad. How about braided? For braided, it goes up to 16 pound. So, you, you get all of that stuff, all right? You, you'll just unlock the ability to get all that stuff as you saw. Um, if we come to line, and we go to fluorocarbon, you see I bought all these, everything that has a one next to it is something that I own. And I bought all this stuff because I know I'm gonna need it for those gear challenges. There's still heavier line that I need to get, but I need to get higher level before I do that. Not a big deal. Right, so you do all that stuff, you're gonna to get to the higher level, again, setting you up for that success. I'm setting you up to do these fishing challenges, to do these fishing missions. One of those ways I'm setting you up, not only by unlocking gear that you can buy, but also by getting you a whole bunch of other stuff. So you should end up getting all of these rods at some point in time in your journey. This one, I'm not sure if you're going to get it. This might have been from being a player back when the game first came out. I honestly forget. It might be a DLC item too. So check the DLCs. Not entirely sure about these. Everything else you should get simply by exploring. The other thing I want to point out is the baits baits and hooks and all that other good stuff. Now I did buy a couple of these items. Most of this I got for free from the caches, from doing missions, all that good stuff. I, I can tell you right now I didn't buy any cheese at all and I'm almost maxed out on cheese. I didn't buy any dough and there's only nine more before I've got all the dough I can carry. Minnows, uh, eggs, red worm, uh, liver, or marshmallow, rather. Um, I did get liver as well. Hooks, lines, lures, um, freaking red worm. Holy crap. Uh, tomatito, that's, you get that for free on Spain just by finding it. Uh, the crankbaits and stuff like that, most of that, I'm pretty sure I got most of these just from walking around. I did buy a couple. Um, that's all this stuff here. But that's not everything I've gotten for free. If we come over to storage, oh yeah, we got a whole bunch more stuff. These I know are DLC items. You can buy these with real money. I think these were also DLC items. The Capitans. Hi Ace, I have no clue. No clue where that came from. <laughs> um, Bait casting, these guys here. I want to say these guys are the DLC items. I want to say they are. Um, I don't have anything for free for the feeder rods. Well, I earned the foundation. Uh, reels, again, but the big thing I want to show you guys is like, not lines, lures. So that spinner bait you get for free. Uh, these were DLC items, but the rest of these, with the exception of the six and the five, um, I bought these. This one was for free. The poppers, these were all for free. I think. I think the four I bought. Uh, frogs, all of these were for free, with the exception of the five. Uh, spoons, all of these were for free. The swim bait were all for free. Jerk baits, pretty sure all those were free. And the crank baits were all for free. Uh, that's just from going through the caches, doing those missions and whatnot. So I'm not going to run out of bait anytime soon. 
and you don't have to worry about losing your lures if your line breaks off or anything like that you don't lose your lure which is nice <laughs> um, but yeah that's all the kind of that, that's the whole reason why I want you to do all this stuff you're gonna gain levels and you're gonna get a whole bunch of free equipment and gear so when you do start to tackle the fishing missions which is what I'm fixing to do you're set up for it you can literally do it all and there's no worries matter of fact what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw everything into storage actually before I do that I always forget to do this part when you're gonna throw stuff into storage you need to disassemble all your rods or disassemble the rod that has all of that stuff in it so what I like to do and this is just me I like to throw everything that I have into storage before I start doing my fishing challenges and that's just so I can get a fresh look at what I need if I can get a fresh look at what I need for my fishing challenges then I only carrying what I need and should I have to get something else later on it's no big deal I have the room in my backpack to carry that stuff and all this stuff will be in the back of your Jeep which is also another nice thing that the devs did for us um, hooks I'll actually leave the hooks with the exception of having two tens I don't need two tens I'll keep the bait so all the bait I'll keep and I don't have any ground bait floats whatever float you like um, really you only need maybe two at most uh, I highly recommend the glow float for when it becomes nighttime it makes it a lot easier to see but it really doesn't matter I kinda like the cigar the best uh, your irons you only need one for your bottom stuff I don't have any jigs no soft plastics I don't have any catapults or anything like that okay cool so now I'm essentially completely empty I can fish I can plan out my fishing trip this way uh, I can pick whatever gear I want to use and go from there so that's it guys um, this video is actually shorter than I thought it was gonna be I thought it was gonna be a lot longer than this but that is my recommendation for you guys go through unlock all the maps do all the non fishing related missions and get all the collectibles you do that you're gonna be close to level 25 if you do all four maps if not 25 and you're gonna get a whole bunch of free stuff in the process and you're gonna be set up to fish on every single map by simply jumping to whatever fast travel location you need to so there you have it guys that is my tip um, or my tips for starting fresh starting new in the game um, the last thing I do want to mention is there are a lot of guides online especially on YouTube and there are some creators out there I'm not going to mention names who will tell you this is the way to do it this is how you do this how you do that understand guys that is bullshit what they're telling you is complete and absolute bullshit there are recommendations okay nobody in this game can tell you if you want to catch this fish this is what you have to do this is where you have to go all they can do is recommend it to you and I'll give you an example we were in Spain and we were going after one of the legendary fish there was like 20 of well there wasn't 20 of us there was only 12 because that's all you can have on a map there was 12 of us there and we we're all fishing for this legendary fish everybody was catching this fish using dough I couldn't catch it using dough to save my life I literally saw the fish cast my line right out in front of him he did not take my bait so I switched up to cheese cast out to him again boom hit it right away so your what your fish want or what your fish want what works for me may not work for you what works for you may not work for me it's just a recommendation it's a starting point understand that if you're new to this game okay 
these YouTubers, these content creators who are telling you this is the way to do it, they're full of it. Just take it with a grain of salt. That it, they have no clue. I mean, they have a clue. Okay, that their content isn't bad, but they kind of make it sound like there's only one way to do it. In this game, there are definitely more than one way to skin a cat. All right. So that's the actual last tip. If you're looking up guides and stuff like that, just take whatever you see with a grain of salt. Understand it's just a recommendation. No matter what the content creator says, it's just a recommendation. It's a starting point. It's something to try. If that doesn't work, you're going to have to figure it out. <laughs> All right. Um, but I'm going to help you with that as well because I am going to link in the description below another great resource that comes from the Call of the Wild the Angler Discord community and it's basically a help sheet for all four maps and it gets updated all the time all the time and as soon as this next map drops probably November or October of this year that help sheet is going to include that map as well and since it's a Google Doc, you don't have to re-download it. <laughs> you don't have to resave it. Just put it in your favorites tab, open it up whenever you need it. It's got locations for fish species. It's got hook sizes um, for each rank of fish. And it's even got what type of bait that fish will hit on. Now, you don't necessarily need the type of bait a fish will hit on because this will tell you. Um, the red breast kerper, the, they prefer bread. This is the order that they prefer baits, okay? From left to right, top to down. Number one is bread, number two, blood worm, number three, hot dog. All the way to their least preferred bait that they'll actually bite, which is shad, okay? So you don't necessarily need the bait chart, but the hook size chart and the location chart. I'm telling you guys, great, great things when you're going after a certain species of a certain rank um, outside of missions. And like I said, if I remember, I will link that or put a link to that in the description below along with the um, link to that other one uh, for uh, items for locations on uh, Troll Sport and GRR. So there we have it guys <laughs> um, it was a long video but I actually expected it to be about an hour and a half so we're doing good if you like this video hit that like button if I've earned it hit that subscribe button I do hope this kind of helped you out in some small way and as always be safe be cool have fun we'll catch you in the next one